tonight it, you can see it in the comments you can see in regards to the conversation that uh we we put that we're going to be discussing for a lot of people this may be touchy um these conversations i realized have gotten a lot of platforms either canceled um uh, shadow banned or whatever um this is a conversation that a lot of people are not willing to have I mean, amongst family and friends, the fact that we are about to have this conversation on a platform like this, which is Believe TV Productions on the Youth Believe Ministry, wherever it is that which you are watching us right now, we ask that you please don't just watch, but be a subscriber. You know what I'm saying? Follow, share, like, comment. Uh, we do want to hear what everybody has to say. So we understand, man, that Kanye is an individual that which, from what I see, um, this is not my opinion, but this is just my observation. You either hate or you love Kanye West. Um, there ain't really too many people in the middle ground. Um, they either bashing him for something that he did, calling him out for something that he said. Uh, recently, he had a long interview, man, his second interview. I watched the first interview that he had on Drink Champs. Um, the boy said a lot of stuff in there. And uh, he went back, I guess, and had a second interview. And before I could even go and watch it, Revolt TV took it off of their platform. Uh. You can't even watch it no more. And um, I'm, what I'm hearing is the backlash from this, you know what I'm saying, conversation that he had. He's been, I mean, <laughs> he done been kicked off of Adidas. Uh, what's, what's, some other, what's some other stuff yesterday I he got knocked off of? Was yeah. he with them for real? Yeah, he got kicked out of Balenciaga, Adidas. They pulled his team out. His team. Team. Yeah. yeah. He lost two people that was his agents or whatnot. Oh, yeah, he lost. Yeah, he his lost. talent agency yeah. dropped him. His albums are down 23% um, through October 20th. His bank cut ties with him. Yeah, the bank. Yeah, they didn't want to hold his money for Yeah, the no bank more. didn't want to hold his money no more. Uh, the record label, Good Music, is no longer part of Def Jam. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're separated. Yeah. His new yeah. lawyer dropped him. He got no access to post on social media platforms. He's back on Twitter, though. Okay. Yeah, Elon, uh, Elon, 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 Elon Musk. I think his name. Yeah, yeah, he, he the new guy. Yeah, he uh he got him back on Twitter. His Twitter's back on. Um, uh, he haven't tweeted nothing. I don't think he tweeted anything yet, but he back on Twitter. Vogue cut ties with him. That big magazine and Adidas. Uh, y'all y'all already know that when Adidas cut ties with him. But um, what what bothered me about this whole thing is the fact that in all honesty. Most of the stuff that we have problems with Kanye is when he be bashing the black community, right? Like, the boy be coming hard on the black community, whether it's wearing the White Lives Matter t-shirt or, you know, his comments on the George Floyd thing, um, saying that racism was basically Good our choice. fault or it's not your choice, something like that. Yeah. He, he said so many derogatory things towards black people. And uh, we discussed this Kanye situation. The fact that Kanye has been saying all these derogatory terms towards black people for years unapologetic he wore a red hat <laughs> you know what i'm saying followed trump and all that stuff with no regards to the feelings of black people he said what trump is my daddy or something all like that stuff trump? man i mean he <laughs> sat Bush. he was sitting with him man he was okay, sitting yeah, with him he mean, you know make america great again i remember that so uh but the moment the moment he stood up to the jewish nation to the jewish community explaining from his perspective and mm. it sounds pretty factual to me that at the end of every road is basically a Jewish man with his hand out. Um, whether you buying a building or need a loan, you got to go towards a Jewish person to get help you out to fund that or buy it from him. Um, if you want to become an artist for we, we actually what's beautiful about this is that our last sermon, the last service that we had with the Youth Believe Ministry, we were talking about the spiritual warfare and we were trying to finish. The objective was to basically point out your enemies because you can't be in war without knowing who your enemies is otherwise they pull up on you behind you you ain't even know and y'all fall off you just like that so the objective of that service was actually to point out certain enemies and one thing that we realize is that at the top of universal the top of a lot of these different platforms different like all these moguls of these different record labels are jewish men um that really have no ties to the music that which they are pushing so he was saying all this and basically was like, man, y'all need to loosen up the noose. 
in regards to allowing black people to be able to do more things without having to collectively always come to you guys. Now, the moment that my boy went off and said that, as we see, he done got kicked off of everything. So my first question to you guys, um, why do y'all think Kanye was canceled now? Simply because he went towards that community. It's been, it's been proven many, many times before. When you're going against them, when you say something against them, they can cut you off. Because in all reality, it's a pyramid. Everything connects back to them, fam. Hmm. You got to remember, you're still in their country, bro. This is not our country, fam. And what, why, why do you say that? What, what, what's your point behind that? Why do you say that this is this is because we would look at America as being America? So why would we think that? Why do you think that this uh, this country has more ties to the Jewish than it did, does to power. huh? They, speak for, speak speak on it. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, niece. <laughs> They're in a position of power. They have buildings. They have banks. They have a lot of things. A lot of access that we need. Is through them. So, of course, they have a... They basically have their foot in our necks. Mm. Wow. Mm. Um, go ahead, Nish. Finish your thought, man. <laughs> I'm about to go um, oh. <laughs> So, we might not agree with how Kanye said the certain... Like, certain things that he say. Mm -hmm. But it brought up this conversation, though. Right. Right. It brought up many conversation that a lot of people eyes open. That a lot of people eyes up. A lot of people are starting to do their research. Right. A lot of people are like getting to understand why we're mad. Why How we is it that you a billionaire today and tomorrow you could just literally no longer be on the Forbes list, no longer be recognized as a billionaire? Exactly. That's crazy. Dog. That's crazy. Hey, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's what he's doing, though. Yeah, let's talk but, about it. You know, every time they they say uh, or a person start expressing themselves and start saying stuff, they immediately say they're crazy or right. they're on drugs. Right, right, right. You know what that proves to me? That proves to me that, man, these hospitals, bro, that's what they do. They just label you in anything if you're not going accordingly to what, or what they want you to go along with. I mean, he said something that was profound recently, man. They caught him outside of a car. And he was just, you know, talking because I guess at this point he's just going to anywhere he see cameras, he going to speak. And he was saying that, you know, when he was going through his situation and um, they were basically saying that he had mental disorders and um, they were trying to prescribe him to different types of medication that he said it again. Like basically even after apologizing to the Jewish community, he came back and said that uh, the doctor that they tried to give him was a Jewish doctor. And he says something in that that basically goes to what Sister Esther says, like in regards to exposing, where he says that if he would have went towards that doctor and took the medication that they were trying to prescribe him, they would already had mixed in whatever medication in that little pill bottle. And he said it would have just been another Michael Jackson or another Prince situation again. Mm. Listen, man. I mean, I don't even want to sound like negative, bro, hmm. but I'm just going to keep it real. I wouldn't be surprised this year that I hear R.I.P. Kanye. Nah, not nah, that fast. Let's not go that far. No, 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 it, listen it, to me, listen it, to me, it, listen it to me. It won't happen that fast. Listen bro. to me, listen to me. I mean, I understand we may have, you know, our own opinion, and I get that part. But hey, listen to what I'm saying. I wouldn't be surprised. I would. The reason why I wouldn't be surprised, because, like, for me, anytime, anytime you're in a, a, a corporation or you're in a, a, a field of, of, you know, working with people that are higher up, and the moment you speak out, bro, they're gonna they're gonna crucify you. Right. Whether if it's verbally, financially, any way they're gonna get you. So imagine you working at a company, right? You know, your little company that you work with right here, that's in the local area, and you see how they do you. You feel me? This guy is in a whole different level of business. He's in a whole different tax bracket. And for you to come out on these platforms, big international, national platforms and speak that way, bro. They don't want to hear that. Especially if you have influence. Especially not not only that you have influence, but you know what you're talking about. This is somebody who's been around Jigga. 
This is somebody who's been around a very long time about certain people. Right. So he's taking notes. He knows what's going on. And stay right there. Think about how many times Jay-Z has tried to back away from Kanye. Mm. Like, I don't know if y'all be peeping, but he really mm. be on some like, Listen, Jay-Z. Because Jay- Jay-Z knows how to get to the money. And he know if I want to stay with that money. I got to be with that. Man. But I say he with them too, though. He got to be. Ain't no ain't no question about it, yeah, fam. Nah. Okay, you see. Go ahead. Well, ain't no Michael, um, whatever. You good. You good. With with the with with them, I feel like with with them, there's no gray area. You're either with them or against them. That's you, it. You see, like even the people that interviewed Kanye. This conversation getting good, is, y'all. Keep going. The the people that's the people that was interviewing Kanye, they apologized. For interviewing Kanye, <laughs> yeah. Why? Yeah. Ooh, why do they have to apologize? Man, because they basically gotta say, "Hey, this ain't us saying it. It was your boy that said it." And, and, we and, don't want to let y'all know to, we don't have any ties to what the homie said. And, and, and to I want to add That's on to deep. I want to I want to add on to what Nisha just said. You right. see that? You, you see what that means, bro? Huh. That means to me that. These platforms that we like a lot, or we like to watch and subscribe, right? That the we, people that, like that we quote unquote think are black owned. Yeah, because and, 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 and you, you, you Revolt, see the, Revolt TV, we are supposedly thought that it was owned by Puff Daddy, but that's, nah. they got an umbrella company that we don't even know about. Ex- exactly. So what does that what, what does that mean to us? Hmm. It means that we got to start owning some stuff, bro. Right. We got to start doing our own thing. You understand me? Like we got. Believe TV Production. Right. I don't know no Jewish man who owns that. You but, feel what I'm saying? But Believe TV Productions is still on YouTube. Yeah, yeah you see, there you go. And you on their you, platform. And Mark Zuckerberg, no we, still, we still on Facebook right now. You know what I'm saying? It's, like, this is one of the reasons that I actually salute wow. Trump. I don't, know, I don't know how much y'all know about Trump, but Trump, one of the biggest things that he started to do right when he was realizing that he wasn't going to become the president again, he put money behind individuals that basically are making another internet. Mm-hmm. You wow. know what I'm saying? So where it would be something where he can speak freely to mm-hmm. his individuals. You know what I'm saying? So I feel, homie, mm-hmm. because the only way that you can actually be yourself today is to be on your own platform. And the only real platform that we own is what, in our house? Yeah. What's that, the family? It's your boy, Cam, one of the cast members of Late Night Love Ties. You can catch us at Believe TV Productions on YouTube. Like, subscribe, share. Leave a comment, you know, get in tune with us. And if you want to catch us live, you can go on Late Night TV on Instagram, and you can just come chat with us. Holla.